Hi students, welcome to Josat. In the name B8 first year computer science students kana syllabus pakaporo. Course 1 Childhood and Growing Up. Course objective enana at the end of the course, the student teacher will be able to understand the growth stages and dimension of child development. Second, compare various theory and its attribution to child development. Third, analyze the gender stereotype and issues, concerns of marginalized children. Fourth, understand the adolescent's behavior. And fifth, identify the various socializing agencies and their role on child development. Sixth, comprehend the role of play and media on child development. Seventh, examine the impact of urbanization and economic change on child development. Unit 1 is Growth and Development of Childhood, where meaning and concept of the growth and development, principle of growth and development, difference between growth and development, impact of nature and nurture on child development. Unit 2 is Stages and Dimension of Development. Stages, Infancy, Child Early childhood and adolescence and their dimensions of development, physical, cognitive, moral, emotional and social. Unit 3 is Theory of Child Development, Psychosocial Stage Erickson, Cognitive Development Piaget, Moral Development Kohlberg, Socio-Cultural Approach to Cognitive Development Vygotsky, Ecological System Theory Braun Brenner. Fourth unit, Socializing Agency of Child Development, Agency of Socialization, Family, School, Peer and Community. Fifth unit is Gender Stereotypes and Gender Roles. Gender stereotypes in early child, middle childhood and adolescent, influence of gender stereotyping that is biological, cultural and environmental, gender identity in middle childhood and in adolescent, Gender Schema Theory – Strategies for Development Non-Gender Stereotyped Children Unit 6 – Marginalized Children – Issues and Concerns Meaning and Concept of Marginalized Children Children living in urban slum, deprived, socially deprived girls that is Dalit and tribal girls, abused child, children growing up in poverty, Street children, HIV affected children and children working in unorganized sector, la child labor, measures to promote the status of marginalized children. Unit 7. Understanding Adolescent Meaning of Adolescence Study of Adolescent Behavior in their Natural Setting At Play or in School Setting Using Observation Interview Schedule case study method and interacting with them, understanding of the physical, social and moral behavior of children and adolescent. Unit 8 is Play and Child Development Meaning and Characteristic of Play Kind of Play and their role in child development Play activities of childhood Factor influencing children's play Contribution of play to children's physical, social, emotional and cognitive development Unit 9 Media and Child Development Impact of Media on chi Early Childhood Experience and Development Impact of Mass Media and Social Media on Adolescent Development Influence of Media Violence on chi Children's and Adolescent's Behavior Effect of Media on Racial and Gender Stereotyping Regulating Healthy Media Use Unit 10 Urbanization and Economic Change on Child Development Impact of Urban Culture, Population Density, Migration of Family and Environmental Effects that is Air, Water and Noise on Child Development Effects of Liberalization, Privatization and Globalization which is called as LPG on Child Development with Special Reference to India Task and Assignment Submission of a case study report on an adolescent student in the practice teaching school Second is contact various socializing agent and submit a detailed report on their role on child development Course 2 Contemporary India and Education The course objective are 
at the end of the course the student teacher will be able to first develop an understanding of the nature of social diversity and the educational demands of the diverse community second explain the silent features of indian constitutional values on education third analyze the cause for inequality discrimination and marginalization in education fourth develop an understanding of the educational policies and programs during the pre independent and post independent period fifth examine the issue of language policy in education sixth develop an understanding on the emerging trends in education let's see unit 1 unit 1 is understanding the social diversity social diversity meaning and definition level of social diversity individual regional linguistic religious caste and tribes education for understanding the social diversity in india second unit is educational demand for individual and diverse community universalization of primary education program to achieve universalization of education that is ssa rmse and rusa integrated education and inclusive education challenges in achieving universalization of education education for collective living and peaceful living four pillars of education as viewed by the dellers commission report unit 3 is about indian constitutional value on education preamble of the constitution fundamental right and duty of citizen directive principle of state policy and education challenges to fulfill the, the constitutional obligation that is freedom justice equality fraternity and education right to education act unit 4 inequality discrimination and marginalization in education social inequity in society causes for inequality discrimination and marginalization in education types of inequity that is caste class gender region elimination of social inequity through education education for marginalized group that is dalit tribals and women unit 5 policy framework on education that is pre independent india silent futures of vedic buddhist and jain system of education development of education during the pre independent period characteristic of basic education and its relevance to the present day context unit 6 policy framework on education post independent india major recommendation of kothari commission that is on 1964 to 1966 ishwar bai patel committee 1977 malcolm adishesha committee 1978 new education policy 1986 program of action 1992 sancha committee 2005 Silent Futures of National Curriculum Framework 2005 National Knowledge Commission 2005 Unit 7 5 Years Plan Educational Policy Making and Budgeting Funding System of Education Public Fees Students Loan Education Fees and External Aids Unit 8 Language Policy in Education Language Policy During the Pre-Independent and Post-Independent India Language Policy as Specified in Indian Constitution View of Great Thinkers on Medium of Instruction View of Great Thinkers like Tagore Gandhi and Vivekananda Unit 9 Midday Meal Scheme as a Socialization Process objective of mid day meal scheme benefit of mid day meal scheme on education mid day meal scheme as a socialization process with special reference to tamil nadu unit 10 emerging trends in education impact of globalization liberalization and privatization on education lifelong learning and online learning education task and assignments First prepare a report based on the interaction or interview with legal experts for the effective implementation of constitutional provision to eliminate inequality discrimination and marginalization in education second write a detailed report on the 5 year plan implication of universalization of education
Course 3 Learning and Teaching Course objective are at the end of the course the student and the teacher will be able to first develop an understanding of the nature of learning and teaching second develop an understanding of the behavioral theory cognitive and humanistic theory third critical evaluate the theory of constructivism fourth understanding the teaching diverse classroom Fifth, identify the need and importance of teacher-student relationship. Sixth, discuss the importance of teaching as a profession. Unit 1. Nature of learning. Learning, meaning and definition. Elements of learning. Basic principle of learning and their implications. Root learning versus meaningful learning. Principles and techniques of active learning and their implications and self-learning. Unit 2. Nature of teaching. Teaching, definition and meaning, characteristic of teaching, good teaching, view of great thinker and philosopher on teaching, becoming a reflective teacher and is characteristic by goals as a teachers. Unit 3. Behavioral Theory of Learning Learning, meaning of learning as defined by the behaviorist, classical conditioning, Pablo, law of effect, Thondic, Operant Conditioning and Shaping Skinner, Social Learning Bandra, Basic Assumption of Behavioral Theory, Strength and Limitations. Unit 4, Cognitive and Humanistic Theory of Learning. Learning, Meaning of Learning as Defined by the Cognitive Psychologist, High Insight Learning Kohlberg, Modes of Cognitive Development Brunner, Stages of Intellectual Development Piaget, Learning Style Kohlberg, Self-Actualization Maslow, Theory of a Fully Functioning Person Karl Droger. Unit 5 Theory of Constructivism Constructivism Meaning and Definition The Nature of Constructivist Learner The Role of Teacher The Nature of Learning Process Collaboration Among Learner and the Pedagogical Approaches to Constructivism Ganey's Eighth Level of Learning Unit 6. Learner-Centered Teaching Meaning, characteristic of learner-centered teaching or uh, learner-centered learning, need for learner-centered approach in teaching, advantages of learner-centered teaching versus teacher-centered learner, teaching and learner-centered techniques of teaching and their advantages. Unit 7. Teaching in Diverse Classroom Meaning and Definition of Diverse Classroom Teaching in a diverse classroom, preparation of teachers of a diverse classroom, technique of teaching in a diverse classroom or a diverse teaching strategy for diverse learner, effective teaching in a diverse classroom and diversity in the classroom. Unit 8. Learning in and out of the school. Purpose of learning in and out of school. What we know and what we need to know. Importance of observation learning out of school, out of school learning. Extending curriculum learning to the local area, approaches to learning outside the classroom, learning of for outside the classroom, advantage of learning outside the classroom. Unit 9. Teacher-Student Relationship Meaning, need for maintaining teacher-student relationship, interpersonal approach in classroom management, strategies for improving students' engagement in learning, healthy classroom management and academic achievement, Unit 10. Teaching as a Profession Nature of Teaching Teaching as a Profession Characteristic of Effective and Ineffective Teaching Why Teaching is the Most Important Profession Attitude of Student-Teacher Towards Teaching Profession Qualities of a Professional Teacher Faculty Development Programs Teaching and Learning for a Sustainable Future Tasks and Assignments Prepare a report based on the interaction or interview with experts for the theory of learning and teaching, teaching as a profession. Second, prepare records that capture a variety of image of learning and teaching. Course 4. Language across the curriculum. At the end of the course, the student and teacher will be able to first understand the language background of the learner, second, know the language diversity in the classroom, Third, understand the nature of the communication process in the classroom. 
Fourth, understand the nature of reading comprehension in different content area. Fifth, develop multilingual awareness among the learner. Unit 1. Language and Society Language, Meaning, Concept and Functions Understanding of Home Language and School Language Understanding the Language Background of the Learner Developing Oral and Written Language in the Classroom Language and Culture Unit 2 is Language Diversity in Classroom First Language and the Second Language Acquisition Using of First and Second Language in the Classroom Difference between language as a school subject and the means of communication. Relationship between language mastery and subject mastery. Mastery in first language and subject. Mastery in the second language and the subject. Understanding of multilingualism in cultural classroom. Unit 3. Position of English language in the Indian context. Position of English as a second language in India, communication process in the classroom, the nature of classroom discourse, oral language in the classroom, discussion as a tool for learning, the nature of questioning in the classroom, type of questions and teacher control. Unit 4. Language across curriculum, language for specific purpose and subject, social science, so science and mathematics, critical review of medium of instructions, Factor related to poor reading comprehension, developing skill of reading comprehension, theory of language, deficit theory and discontinuity theory, educational implication of language, understanding the nature of classroom interaction. Unit 5. Language related issue. Bilingualism, multilingualism. Challenges of teaching language in multicultural classroom, nature of reading comprehension in the content area, developing writing skill for writing in specific content area, strategies for developing oral language in the classroom that promotes learning in the subject area, reading in the content area, social science, science and mathematics, nature of expository text versus narrative text, Transactional best reflective text, schema theory, text structure and examining content area textbook, reading strategies for note making, summarizing, making reading writing connection, process writing, analyze children's writing to understand their conception, writing with a sense of purpose, writing to learn and understand. Task and assignments. First, based on Ehlers deficit theory, the children from lower socioeconomic classes cannot speak complete sentence, do not know the name of common object, cannot form concept or convey logical thoughts. Step 1. Student teacher have to find the students who are undergoing this type of problem. Uh, step 2. According to Elter Ehlers theory, give a remedial treatment by teaching correct pronunciation. Step 3. The pronunciation of the students before training and after training can be recorded to find the progress of the student. Second, take a few passages from science, social science and maths textbook of class 6th and 8th, 6th to 8th, 9th to 10th and 11th uh, and 12th and analyze on the following issue and offer your finding and suggestion. How are the different register of language have been introduced? Does the language clearly convey the meaning of the topic being discussed? Is the language learner friendly? Is the language too technical? Course 5. Understanding discipline and subject. Course objective. At the end of the course, the student and the teacher will be able to reflect on the role of discipline and subject in the school curriculum. Second, acquaint with the development of curriculum with social, political and intellectual context. Third, understand the paradigm shift in selection of content. Fourth, analyze the advantage of learner-centered curriculum. Fifth, explore the aspects of life-oriented curriculum. Unit 1 is Discipline and Subject. Discipline and Subject, Meaning and Definition and the Concepts. Distinction between the school subject and the academic discipline. Importance of the knowledge of discipline and subject. Need and importance of studying school subject. Curriculum content, meaning and definition and importance. 
John Dewey's idea on disciplinary knowledge and curriculum relationship between the school subject and the academic discipline. Unit 2 Discipline and Subject in Socio Cultural Perspective Emergence and Development of Knowledge, Subject and Curriculum in Social, Political and Intellectual Context, Changes in Social Science, Natural Science and Linguistic, Concept of Knowledge Firm, Objective and Impersonal, Diverse, Di Dialogical, Subjective, Fluid and Porous Frame, Redefinition of School Subject from Sociocultural Perspective, School Subject and the School Justice. Unit 3 Selection of Content Selection of subject matter or a content of the curriculum, self-sufficiency, significance, validity, interest, utility, learnability and feasibility, reason for inclusion or exclusion of a subject from the school curriculum, recent developments in school subject. Unit 4 is Learner-Oriented Curriculum, Disadvantage of Discipline-Oriented Curriculum, Advantage of Learner-Oriented Curriculum, Social Oriented Curriculum for Social Reconstruction, Designing Learner Centered Curriculum, Syllabus and Textbook. Unit 5 Life Oriented Curriculum, Life Oriented Curriculum, Interdisciplinary Curriculum, The Growing uh, Need for Interdisciplinary Curriculum, Broad Field Curriculum, Need for Curriculum Integration, Teaching of Science and Mathematics for National Development, Selection of uh, Content based on the experience of children communities their national natural curiosities their subjects task and assignments first select a unit from your major subject in the school syllabus of any standard and analyze the social political and cultural influences in it second critically evaluate the relevance of school subject for social justice and social reconstruction Course 6 Gender School and Society Course objective is at the end of the course the student and the teacher will be able to understand the concept of gender roles in society, explain the gender identity and socialization process, identify gender roles in textbook and curriculum and uh, discuss safety of girls and women at school, home and workplace. Fifth, understand the representation of gender in various mass media. Unit 1 is Understand Gender Roles in Society Gender, Meaning and Definition Difference between gender, sex and uh, gender roles in society which is family, caste, class, religion, culture and the media and popular culture, law and the state like film, advertisement, song etc. Reasons for Gender Inequality Gender Just Education Outside a uh, School Setting Unit 2 Gender Identity and Socialization Process Gender Identity and Socialization Practice in Family, School and Organization Role of School, Peer, Teacher, Curriculum and Textbook in Challenging Gender Inequality or Reinforcing Gender Parity Actual Gender Role and Responsibility Assigned in Schools, Classrooms Measurement of Gender Identity Discrimination of Gender in Classroom, Interaction, Rituals and School or Routines Process of disciplining technique of for boys and girls. Analyze of sex role stereotype. Unit 3. Gender and school curriculum. Representation of gender role in school textbook and curricula. Role of schools in nutrition or uh, challenging young people as masculine and feminine sleep. Integration of gender roles in school and curriculum. Gender issue in diverse culture constraint. Teacher's role on developing positive attitude towards opposite gender in the school, gender bias in education, transgender, providing opportunity for education and employment and life skill, Empl developing school curriculum for gender equality. Unit 4. Violence on safety of girls and women. Safety of girls and women at school, home and workplace, sexual abuse and violence, role of education in preventing them, meaning and concept of body objectification, combating female body objectification, role of teacher and the parent. Unit 5. Mass Media and Gender Gender role in mass media, gender stereotypes in mass media, gender identity role, positive notion of body and self, gender in media, that is magazine, TV shows, cartoon, movie and advertisement, gender equity and language use.
task and assignment first prepare a report on different role of adolescent that is boy and the girl in the context of emerging society second prepare a report on child abuse or violation of girls right by collecting data from various media resources course 7 is pedagogy of computer science course objective at the end of the course the student teacher will be able to understand the aim and objective of teaching computer science formulate instructional objectives for a lesson gain mastery of teaching skill apply various method in teaching computer science use various resource in teaching computer science unit 1 aim and objective of teaching computer science computer science meaning nature and scope aim and objective of teaching computer science school need and significance of teaching computer science value of teaching computer science unit 2 planning for instruction step in planning a lesson setting lesson goal designing a unit plan designing a lesson plan bloom's taxonomy of educational objective formulative instructional objective at cognitive affective and psychomotor level constructor or a structure of a fourfold lesson plan preparation of a model lesson plan types of test items constructing test items for formative evaluation in class unit 3 practicing the teaching skill in computer science meaning of teaching understanding major teaching skill introducing explaining questioning varying the stimulus non verbal cues reinforcement and fluency in communication practicing a mini lesson with multiple teaching skill for 20 minutes observation and feedback on the practice of integration of teaching skill understanding major steps in teaching a mini lesson that is motivation presentation interaction interaction reflection and summing up practicing mini lesson for 20 minutes observation and feedback on mini teaching mm, unit 4 methods of teaching computer science teacher centered method lecture method demonstration method team teaching learner centered method laboratory method project method peer tutoring teaching by student individual activity experiential learning teacher guided learning problem solving method small group or whole class interactive learning student seminar group discussion mixed ability grouping recent trends in teaching constructivist learning problem based learning brain based learning collaborative learning flipped learning blender learning e learning trends video conferencing unit 5 resource for teaching computer science print resource newspaper journals magazine computer science encyclopedia audio resource radio talk audio tape dvd cd and visual resource like picture chart poster photographs flash card model ict resource like radio tv internet multimedia interactive whiteboard community resource like field trip computer science exhibition or fair computer science laboratory computer science resource center computer science club quality of a good computer science textbook quality of a computer science teacher task and assignment prepare and submit an evaluative report on different methods of teaching computer science second prepare and submit a report on computer science resource center these are the syllabus for first year b ed computer science student if you feel this video was helpful to you please hit like button and share with your friends and please subscribe to my channel for more updates thank you friends Thank you.